What's the one thing you remember from high school biology? Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, right? You know, we coined that phrase in 1957, but now it's time for an update. The powerhouse analogy is expired. Powerhouse, one function, transform energy. People keep finding new functions for mitochondria, like, whoa. Most of us probably picture mitochondria in the same textbook way, like these little, little squiggly beans that float around and power our cells, right? But Martin wants us to know that we've learned so many new things that mitochondria do. Mitochondria process information, they receive inputs, then they talk to each other, they make hormones, estrogen, testosterone, progesterone. They can turn on some genes, they can turn off some genes, so they can fuse, they regulate what's called the epigenome. So yeah, they do a lot more than power the cell. Something you should know is that most of our cells contain hundreds to thousands of mitochondria, which is not something you would know by looking at basically any textbook image ever. But Martin says that all of these mitochondria work together to take in information in these chemical signals, process that information, and make decisions about how the cell behaves, almost like a miniature brain. Mitochondria have a veto on whether the cell lives or dies. This is pretty profound. So what should we call these organelles since there's so much more than passive little powerhouses? Mitochondria as the motherboard of the cell is a good analogy. There's a scientist in our group, Anna Monzel. She was drawing this like motherboard, this like circuitry, and then she's like, oh, mitochondria is the motherboard of the cell. Mitochondria are the motherboard of the cell. Tell your friends, tell your high school biology teacher. We gotta get the word out. Also, since mitochondria are so central to our health, it's important to take good care of them. And Martin has some good tips on how to do this in his article that he wrote for us and on the latest episode of Science Quickly. Truly, I haven't stopped thinking about my mitochondria since, and it's really changed my perspective. Like, my mitochondria do so much for me, I want to take care of them.